AutoCAD 2017 gave us the amazing ability to bring in PDF files as AutoCAD objects. Let me show you how easy it is to do exactly that. All right, so first off, you're gonna go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, and you're gonna use the great new PDF import tool. All right, I have this PDF file called Mount View Cabin that I want to bring in as AutoCAD objects. It has several pages. I wanna bring in page three. And I happen to know that the scale factor for that PDF page was a quarter inch equals a foot. So you and I both know that means I need to scale it by 48. And you can scale it later if you want, but we know it's so much easier to scale it up front, right? I'm not gonna point out, talk about every single thing in this dialog box, but let's point out a few really key features. For example, layers over here. I do want it to use the layers that were inside of the PDF file, and uh, more than likely, that PDF file came from AutoCAD to begin with. You probably want to use the layers that originated inside of AutoCAD, it's up to you. Or would you like to break it up into object layers like polylines or circles or whatever, the, or text, whatever the situation is? Or do you want it to put every single object on the current layer? That sounds like a CAD manager's nightmare. <laughs> it's totally up to you. And then what kind of data do you want it to bring in? Do you want it to bring in everything? Do you want it to bring in um, all of the true type text? You should know that SHX fonts do not come in as text, they come in as a geometry, like polylines and ellipses. We'll talk about that in another tip. Do you want it to bring in the raster images, which come in as PNG files, just so you know that. And there's a bunch of import options. Uh, do you want it to join line and arc segments? Yeah, let's keep that entity count down, right? Do you want it to apply the line weight properties? Well, I would think so. And this one I think is important. Infer line types from collinear dashes. Do you want it to, to, to count all those individual dashes as individual objects, or do you want it to try to figure out if that happens to be a line type? The choice is absolutely yours. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit an okay. It could take a little bit of time depending on how big and complex that PDF file is. That wasn't too bad though. Take a look at this. It did a beautiful job. If I come over here, you will see that this was a true type font, right? So it had no problem converting it over to M text. Brilliant, brilliant. I could easily edit that, no problem. Um, I will comment, however, that this was SHX font and consequently it did convert it to geometry. It looks great, would be a little trickier to edit, um, but I will show you that there's some great new tools in the latest update. It's gonna make it easy, really easy for us to, uh, to work with this text. All right, but you can see this is an ellipse. This is a polyline. I do have a raster image over here. How did it do with that? I think it did a pretty good job with that. Let's see, no problem. That raster image came straight across. There it is right there. All right, it did a beautiful job. Look at that. No more tracing. Think of all the time that you are going to save. Give it a try. I think you're gonna love the new ability that AutoCAD 2017 gives you to bring PDF files in as AutoCAD objects.